So you've put in the work, you've secured a date, and now you don't want to screw it up, do you? Well, don't worry, boys, because uh, I've got you covered for today's video. We're going to be going through hairstyling and everything else needed to get ready for this date. But first, make sure you hit that notification button to know when Blue Mon videos are dropping. It's happening every Monday and Friday. Now, the first thing you do when getting ready for a date is pick out the outfit. So my first three tips are different outfits to take into consideration. Now, first of all, this is so often uh, not considered or thought about, but John Josh actually suggested this point to me the other day, and I was like, you know what? It's actually a good point. Josh said something useful. And that's simply don't try something new. See, when we want to try hard and try to impress someone, it's really easy to start overthinking and actually going like, you know, too far with the outfit option. A date night is not the time to try something new, not the time to try something you haven't done before because you'll have no idea if it actually works for you or not. I'm not saying don't put in extra effort. I'm just saying do that with outfits that you're already comfortable with rather than trying to get too fancy on yourself and trying something that might end up not working. So I've got three different outfit recommendations which I'm guessing won't be too much of a stretch for most guys out there and uh, each outfit will you know kind of depend on the type of date you're going on most first dates or like the first couple of dates usually start out pretty casual you know coffee shop movie chilled restaurant something like that and you can't go wrong with the classic black and white outfit black jeans simple white t-shirt or in my case a long sleeve Henley makes for a great safe clean casual look personally I prefer the Henley because it's just a touch classier than a simple white tea and the one that I've got here is from super dry it's so comfortable and soft and it has a really nice fit so you know if you would if you want to check out this shirt I do have it linked down below here's something to keep in mind though one of the benefits of the color white is that it makes you appear a little bit bigger which is great for those of you on the more skinnier side such as myself a white shirt can help you look a little bit more filled out and a little more muscular but that said if you've got some bits up here that you don't really want emphasized you might want to try a different color to white just go for a different shade if you're concerned about emphasizing bits that you don't want to emphasize. Next outfit is a slightly classier approach, but I'd still put it together in a way that crosses those casual boundaries as well. This time I switched the jeans out with a pair of very affordable chinos, by the way, from ASOS and paired those with a different color Henley, also from Super Dry, because I love the Super Dry Henleys. They are comfortable as anything. To elevate this look, you can simply tuck in your shirt and I've got on a really casual belt as well, which works really well with the chinos. Now you don't have to go for the Henley. You can match this look with a with like either a thin sweater or a button-up those are great options as well to fill this look out a bit more I'd recommend layering with a clean simple overshirt you know something that complements the aesthetics of the clean look rather than going to streetwear with the layering the one that I've got on is this one right here it's from top man I've got it linked down below finally to balance this look out a bit uh, throwing on a pair of sneakers with a minimalistic colorway is a great way of tying in the casual with the more dressed up look finally if your date requires an even more elevated look. I don't know what you're up to. Maybe you're going to a, a ballroom art gallery type of thing. I don't know. But if you need it, you can never go wrong with the full suit, but forget the tie and leave the top button undone. You also don't even need the belt. The last thing that you want is to look like you're going for a job interview. And if you're going for a suited look, dressing it down a little by forgetting the tie, leaving your shirt slightly open is a great way of adding some casual elements to the otherwise formal approach. Now that we've got our clothing down, we know what we're wearing. It's time to move on to our hair. Check out what style I'm going for today. You got a couple different options, but what better way to show the effort than with a classic gentleman's look? Do you see what I'm holding? The long lost child of the Blumon hair product family. Ladies and gentlemen, Fit Sample by Blumon Pomade is making a return. I get messages almost daily asking where Fit Sample Pomade is, and I'm not, not releasing a release date just yet, but I can tell you it's coming very, very Soon. This updated formula keeps many of the characteristics of our original fit sample, but now has a new low shine, which we did based off of the feedback from the old formula, asking us just to tone down the shine a little bit. As you can see, it still has some shine. It hasn't been taken out completely, and it still has a really good slicking factor. But we simply toned down the shine for a more modern market and to prevent your hair from looking overly greasy. I've got a tutorial coming on the hairstyle you're seeing here today, so I'm not going to get too much into the detail on the technique right now, but the side part 
classic look is a great go-to date night option. Fit Sample is coming back with its high hold, easy washability, and the conditioning effects that made our first version such a big hit. And we're still running the giveaway that we started for just a little bit longer. So you can stand the chance to win a couple jars of the Bloom on Pomade along with a custom suit from Indochino. If you want, don't miss out. We've got the link down below where you can sign up for a chance to win. Stay tuned for the release date and get your hair looking fine for that date night. Now, date night preparations would not be complete without making sure that you smell good. And my favorite scents for more romantic occasions are colognes with darker, warmer, woody, or even sweeter tones. You know, I don't want to go on my date smelling like I'm headed to the office or like a professional environment. So when it comes to date nights, I tend to stay clear away from like crisp, clean, even two kind of citrusy scents and go for something deeper. One that I can't recommend enough is Amen Pure Malt. I think this might actually be kind of hard to come across now. I'm not so sure. I've had this, as you can clearly see from the jar, for like three years or so. The smell itself is enough to uh, seduce me. So, you know, just imagine when she smells it. Finally, chivalry isn't dead. When you're finished getting ready for your date and you're headed out, you're on your way, Bring your date around. This right here is the cherry on top. It's the finishing touch. It's something special and sweet. You can't go wrong with a nice rose. What, what can I say? And guys, uh, with that said, thank you for watching. We are running the fifth sample giveaway still. If you want to check it out, I've got it down below. Can't wait to get this out there. I know it's been forever. Subscribe if you're new. Like this video if you liked it. And like it also if you didn't like it. Thank you guys for watching. See everybody next time.